TDR Network presents Inspire 2015 We have authentic narrations found in the Sunan Abi Dawood, Sunan An Nisa'i, and other books of Hadith, in which the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, addressed this issue. This is an issue of knowledge and accountability. Because in Islam we know you're only accountable if you have the knowledge. Why is it that the children are not held accountable for their actions until after puberty? Because their level of knowledge has not developed to the point where they can distinguish. So they're not held accountable. Why is it that a madman, somebody who's insane, if he kills somebody, they don't hold him accountable because he doesn't have the knowledge. So you're not accountable. So what about the child who is born, lives a few years and dies from sickness, accidents, whatever? People say, well, they're going to paradise. But hey, is that fair? The rest of us have to struggle and deal with all the other things and they just die early and paradise is theirs. They say, oh, Allah, why you didn't make me one of those? The fact of the matter is that when Aisha radiallahu anha had mentioned regarding one of the children of the Ansar who had died, that to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, she mentioned, oh, he is among the children of paradise. Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, no. You can't say that. Though it's common amongst Muslims, we all generally understand that if a baby dies, the baby is going to paradise. But this is not true. It's not true. Instead, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu gave us important information concerning this matter. And this is a, an issue that most Muslims don't even know about. These hadiths are authentic, but most Muslims never heard of it. And when they're asked that question, what about the people who didn't hear about Islam? The Eskimos in the North Pole. The message didn't get to them. The Indians living in the middle of the Amazon, still living in such a primitive life, they walk around stark naked. Like the people who Dhul Qarnain ran into. They never heard about Islam. And all around the world, there are peoples like this. Never heard the message of Islam. Can they be held accountable? What happens? Well, the Prophet wasallam said that all those who died without having had the chance to understand, to hear and to understand the message of Islam. Whether they're children or deaf, dumb and blind, retarded, all the various categories, or they lived in a time or a place where the message of Islam never reached them. At the time of resurrection, they will all be brought back together. At the time when we are being resurrected, we who had the message and are standing for judgment, we are being resurrected for the judgment. They are resurrected together. They are brought back into this world with all of their faculties. So those who are deaf, dumb, and blind will see hear and speak. Full faculties. Children will be adults. And at that time when they're raised up, they will find in front of them a wall of fire. 
a wall of fire, a huge wall of fire in front of them when they're resurrected. And as they stand before this wall of fire, someone will come out of that wall. A messenger. A messenger who will be sent to them. But we thought that Muhammad Sallallahu was the last messenger in this world. In this world. But at that time, that's another world. That is the world of the last day. That messenger will come out of the fire and he will address all these people. All of those who never heard the message of Islam. He will inform them about the oneness of Allah, which they already have within their souls. Affirming that one God, Tawheed, and further information about Allah, and having informed them, they got the message, they all bore witness, the message reached them, he then gives them one command. You know, it all began with one command, didn't it? Don't eat from the tree. One command. The whole of Islam was summed up in that one command. Don't eat from the tree. In the end, one command. The messenger instructs them to enter the fire. That wall of fire from which he came. And they saw him come out. And he will tell them, enter this wall of fire. And of course, they heard the message. It was clear. Now, they just had to obey. Because Islam is what? Obedience. Obedience to the messenger of God is obedience to God. May yuti rasul faqad ata Allah. Whoever obeys the messenger has obeyed Allah. So when they're instructed to enter, they all walk forward. As they walk forward, the wall of fire flares up. The heat, the searing heat of the fire reaches them. Most of them back off. They move away. But some of them walk on and into the fire. And of course, when they walk in, they will appear to the others as having been burnt out of existence. They will just disappear in the fire walking. And after they walk in, the fire simmers down again. And the messenger tells them again, enter the fire. And again they will walk forward. And the fire will flare up again. Most will back off. But some more will walk in. And that repeats itself. As many times as Allah wishes. Until when the messenger says to them. Enter. No one moves. there will be those who will not respond finally. All who would, did. And all who wouldn't, didn't. At that point, Prophet Muhammad wasallam said that those who refuse to enter the fire are those who 
had the message of Islam reach them in the proper form, clearly, so they could believe in it, they would have rejected it. They would be the Abu Talibs and others, Abu Jahals and others. The clear message came, but they wouldn't accept it. Did anybody get the message any clearer than Abu Talib? No, but he didn't accept it. So those who refuse are those who had the message come to them. Like Abu Talib, they would not have accepted it. Whereas those who entered are those who had the message come, they would have accepted it. They are the Waraka ibn Nawfal's. Waraka ibn Nawfal. Who in Mecca, before the prophethood of Muhammad وسلم, was a true believer. The Prophet وسلم, bore witness that he would be among the people of paradise. He was a believer. So Allah is fair. Those who haven't heard the message will get the message. Everyone will have a choice. Those who entered the fire will go on to paradise. That was their judgment right there and then. Those who refuse will go on to hell. And that was their judgment there and then. Donate now. The dailyreminder.org slash donate.